I know Mayor Wu is here, and we want to thank Mayor Wu. We want to thank the City of Boston. We want to thank the various City of Boston departments for making this day possible, including transportation, including Public Works, Office of Neighborhood Services, and my colleagues in government that are here as well, in city government, in state government. And I want to especially say thank you to the residents of Chinatown for advocating to have signs in Chinese. And this sets a, an incredible example in the resiliency of the Chinatown community. And it shows that we respect this community and we treat this community with respect and dignity. And we're here today to acknowledge that proud immigrant community and the proud immigrant roots. But this was made possible by many, especially the Chinatown Residents Association. And there's a gentleman here right now, um, Mr. Wong, who is very active on this issue. And Mr. Wong worked with Mr. Yi. Many, many knew Mr. Yi who passed away, who advocated for it. Henry Yi. And we also, another Mr. Yi as well, also advocated for it. He passed away. But we're here today to remember them and to thank them for their hard work. But on the, at this time, I want to say thank you to Mr. Wong, who is here. I w I'd like to ask Mr. Wong if he would come up and say a few words. And it's Mr. Wong, as the residents of Chinatown, that did all the hard work to make this possible. So Mr. Wong, thank you. Mr. Wong, everybody.
Thank you, Mr. Wong. I also want to recognize State Legislator Aaron Michaelowitz, who's the Chairman of Ways and Means. Thank you, Aaron. Aaron's a tireless worker in support of the Chinese community. I also want to recognize our other colleague in city government, city councilor at large, Michael Flaherty, longtime community leader here in Chinatown as well. Erin Murphy, um, someone from her staff is here. There might be other elected officials. But at this time, I think Mr. Wong said it best. We advocated for this for so long, but under the leadership of Mayor Michelle Wu, it finally got done. We're so proud of Mayor Wu. We're so proud of her advocacy in representing not just the AAPI community, but representing and advocating for all immigrants throughout Boston. So we're so fortunate to have the leadership of Mayor Wu who got this done. And on behalf of the residents of Chinatown, we want to say thank you to the mayor. And at this time, Mayor Wu, it's an honor to have you here uh, with us today. Thank you so much to everyone. I'm incredibly honored to pick up the mantle and build on the work and advocacy for so long to be celebrating this with you all today. It is very personal for me. Uh, when my parents immigrated to this country, they landed in Chinatown in Chicago. And later on, when we moved around the Midwest a couple different times, no matter how long it took, sometimes it would be an hour, hour and a half to drive, they would always make sure that we would feel connected to our culture, to be in the places where the signage and the language could reflect that sense of connection and identity. So this is incredibly powerful. For the residents of Boston, thank you so much for your advocacy for so, so long. For visitors to Boston who will know and feel comfortable and know that they can appreciate the delights across so many of our streets in Chinatown. And this will set the example for how we should be truly celebrating and lifting up our cultural heritage across each and every one of our neighborhoods here. So I'm so honored and, and grateful to be with you all today. I want to also just recognize that City Councilor at Large Elect, Richard Lee Zen, has joined us. And I'll pass it over to State Rep. Aaron Michael with a few words. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, real quick, because obviously we have a little weather issue here today. Uh, I just want to say thank you to the City of Boston. Uh, for, for taking these steps today, you know, it, putting up signs, uh, bilingual signs may be a small step for some folks, or it may look like a small step, but it is a huge uh, step in terms of what, what, we're, what we're representing and what we're trying to recognize. Uh, and that is that we, that we are a welcoming city, as the mayor mentioned, and that we are welcoming immigrants. But also, you know, as our city is bright, or the future of our city is very bright under Mayor Wu and under all the elected officials that are here today, uh, we also want to recognize what has built the city and, and to what it is today and how great it is because of the immigrant population that we uh, that has made our city so great. And so today is a small step with these, with these signs, but it says a large piece about what our city represents and who we are. So I just, as, as a state elected official, 
I just want to thank the city of Boston, all the city agencies, uh, uh, Council of Police is a champion uh, in Chinatown. I'm proud to work with them uh, day in and day out. And of course, uh, uh, Mayor Wu, uh, for all the work that she does. So thank you to the city of Boston for taking these steps today. Uh, and thank you for having me. yesterday about um, passports and stuff, and some of them kind of pushed back. Where, where are we today? Is there any change today? We have, um, let's see, today is Wednesday. We had our announcement on Monday about the new policies that will require increased protection for small businesses where there are riskier indoor activities and for all the, the staff as well as customers and patrons. In the days since then, we've already hosted webinars that have been very well attended with our small business owners, just so everyone has full information. We also continue to distribute test kits for at-home uh, COVID-19 testing at our libraries and several community centers. We're sending these kits home with each and every one of our Boston Public School students as well. Each UPS student is receiving a kit with two tests in it that will make sure that they can be safe during the holidays and also get tested before coming back from break. So we'll continue to increase access to all of these all of these measures so that the city can be prepared, ready, and continue fighting against the pandemic. No, no, the, the governor yesterday issued a mass advisory, but not a mandate. Do you think that he has not gone far enough as far as protecting people and keeping people safe from the virus? In the city of Boston, we have a mask mandate, and I'm glad that we're able to go above and beyond what the state requires here. We know that cases are surging and that our residents want us to take every possible step to keep people safe. And can you just quickly talk about gatherings for the holidays? What, what's your best advice for gatherings? I wish everyone a very, very happy holiday. We need to make sure it's a safe holiday as well. So if you're able, grab a test kit from one of our libraries or community centers. Make sure you are 
safe, if you're going to be seeing family or relatives or loved ones, we need to just continue taking precautions, get vaccinated, get boosted, get your kids vaccinated. We are well within reach of ending this pandemic, but as this winter surge continues, we all need to make sure we're, we're putting our community members' health um, in, in, in front and that we're all doing our part. One more to make sure we and other cities do to make sure that people can get tests because there's a big shortage of it right now in the state. It's really natural. Yeah, there has been a shortage, and I know the federal government is providing test kits as well that are coming down and going to be distributed all throughout the country. Governor Baker and the state have worked to provide a first batch of testing kits directly to municipalities in Boston. So we've been getting those out the door through our Boston Public School System, through the Boston Housing Authority, and again, at city buildings throughout the city. We need to make sure that we keep this up, that even after the holiday surge, even after people are back and, and at it and coming back to work, we'll continue to stand up testing facilities and increase access to boosters and vaccination throughout the city. Okay, can I get a, what are we doing here in Spanish? Or what is the thing for the city? Please. Sí, hoy es un día uh, muy importante para, para revelar el signos en in dos lenguas in Chinatown. Como hija de inmigrantes, tengo una historia de, de ser y de sentir no inclusivo en, en, um, en situación en, en la ciudad y, y en otras maneras de nuestra sociedad. Entonces es muy importante que cada residente, cada familia y cada barrio reflejan y representan la identidad. Uh, la, uh, lengua, las lenguas y también las culturas de todos los residentes de Boston. Gracias. 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 It's a day for the community. It's a day for the residents of Chinatown that advocated much longer than I have. And this is a dream come true for the residents of Chinatown. But it just goes to show you that working hard, staying committed to a project, the resiliency of the neighborhood, making sure that our immigrant roots are respected here in the community. I want to say again, thank you to the residents of Chinatown and, and Mayor Wu for making this day possible. It's a happy day for all of us, but especially for the residents of Chinatown. Will the city of Boston keep on adding the names of the streets? Because like Lincoln Street, Washington Street, Essex Street, will you keep on adding Chinese names for those streets? Yes, yeah, this is just the beginning, and we will continue doing this throughout the neighborhood.